Hello again. Okay, today this is a slower cooked one. This is one that's going to take a bit of braising. Um, this is one that you can put in the oven, makes the house smell lovely. Lamb shanks. So I've got two lamb shanks here, and we're going to braise them. Kind of, we're going to do a bit of a pom boulanger, but not really a boulanger. We've got bits and bobs from the fridge that are floating about. I've got some carrots. I've got half a head of fennel that's left. It's a bit ropey and dried up. I've got some new potatoes. I've got some garlic, and I've got some onion. And I've got a few bits and bobs of other flavours that are going on. So, to start off with, I'm going to colour up my lamb shanks, okay? And the lamb shanks will go straight in. Now, whilst they're colouring up, I've got a tray here that I'm going to bake it in. I'm going to thinly slice some onions. Lay them on the bottom. And I've got here about six seven cloves of garlic and I'm just going to slice them up, put a layer of the chopped garlic in, then some sliced fennel, carrots, thinly slice those as well. So it's kind of like a one pot vegetable bake, sort of an alternative way of doing a casserole I suppose. And then on top of that, some sliced potatoes. These are new potatoes but you can use Basically, you can use whatever spuds you've got hanging about in the fridge. It's no problem at all. And then, this salted anchovies. And these will break down in cooking, okay? And they give that lovely kind of savoury flavour. A little bit goes a long way. Bay leaf from the garden. A couple of sprigs of rosemary from the garden. They're in. Some preserved lemon. They're big, they're powerful, they're strong. I'm going to chop it up and put some little nuggets of this in so it's got this wonderful acidity. And then repeat the process again. So the onions go on top, fennel again, carrot and potato. Very simple one pot. And you could do this with all sorts of root veg. You could do it with sweet, you could do it with turnips, parsnips will work quite nicely. As long as you're layering it up, but that onion and fennel is a really nice way of doing it. Caramelising and getting colour on this lamb. But it already smells delicious now. That preserved lemon, the lamb cooking, the anchovies. Now, honestly, I know there's quite a few out there that'll be going, I hate anchovies, but trust me on this one. Just the way that they'll cook down, because this is going to be in the oven for about four hours. And here in a pan, I've got some water, got some bovril, also got one of these crumbly chicken stock cubes, gonna use that. So this is actually gonna be our stock for flavor. So we're gonna cook the lamb in. Mix it together, bring it up to the boil. As the gravy's about to come up to the boil, I'm gonna add some of these instant bisto granules. Not too much. I'm just using it pretty much as a thickener, okay? just to give this a bit of body. If you haven't got natural stock, don't worry. Flagging things together like this, stock cubes, bit of bovril, they're all ways of driving flavor. Yes, this is not how I cook in a restaurant. However, it is quite a good way of cooking like it at home if you haven't got a team of chefs, which I doubt many of you have. Okay, so the lamb shanks got a nice color Sit them on the top. Give everything a good pinch of salt and then pour on that stock. Tin foil goes on. Put the tin foil on quite tight. You don't want too much of that steam escaping. Half baking it, half steaming it. Because the lamb shanks aren't actually covered in stock here, so they're gonna slowly bake steam but you don't want them to dry out just yet. After about three hours of cooking I'm going to take the tin foil off and let that last hour 45 minutes and reduce that stock down and make it all sticky and gooey and delicious. Into the oven. You'll see that in three hours time to take the lid off. Right then, the lamb has been cooking for three hours. At this point, oh, look at that. I'm just going to take the tin foil off. The lamb is pretty much cooked. 
but all that stock and sauce still quite liquidy so I'm going to put it back in I'm going to cook it probably for another 45 minutes or an hour just reduce it all down and cook it out just a little bit more try and very carefully not to drop it Boop -boop. So this is now been cooking for four hours it looks it's got this lovely crispy skin on it now where it's baked wonderful flavor now to go with it I've got here a little bit of black cabbage Calvolo Nero and half like a fridge battle worn springy cabbage basically I'm just going to chop it both cabbages quite thinly I've got a pan on the heat and they'll wilt down really quickly and even though they look a little bit fridge worn don't worry they'll be absolutely fine big knob of butter now normally a salsa verde has garlic and anchovies going through it but we've already got that in with the lamb so I'm just going to leave that in there to one side and just concentrate on this veg being lovely vibrant and green and fresh feeling butter's melted and the greens just go into the pan good pinch of salt you can see it becomes really vibrant really green it's not going to take much more cooking to be honest that is it I'm just wilting it down making it hot then some of the capers good spoonful or two of the mint sauce swirl it around and that's it that simple okay good spoonful of this onto the plate the freshness of that mint sauce coming through yes you can use fresh mint that would be absolutely delicious but this is a case of using up jars of things that you've got and then really just going to lift up some of that lamb Oh, <laughs> and then this gorgeous slow roasted vegetables that are all cooked underneath it with the fennel, the carrot, the potatoes, the garlic and they're still all quite chunky there and that my friends I know a lot of these videos so far have been all quite quick cook in an hour or so this one though bit of extra effort bit of extra energy sticking it in the oven and letting it cook and all those flavors come together four hours of messing about and you end up with that that is so worth it